or to release the dural tube. So first we're gonna cup our hands gently underneath the head and just let the head rest in our hands. We're not gonna grab or grasp tightly and we're just gonna sort of cup our fingers up underneath the base of the skull. Um, Jackson, can you turn to the left one? So that our hands look just like this. And we're not gonna pull in traction, but we're just gonna sort of think about moving in the direction of the crown of the head and towards the adult's body. And we're gonna hang out there and just sort of wait for the tissues to relax. And if, you, if you're quiet and sometimes you close your eyes, it helps. And we're just sort of setting an intention of waiting for the body to relax because the idea is that we want the whole back of all of the soft tissues that um, surround the spinal cord to become a more pliable so that we can get into more of a flexed position. Jackson, can you show me a flexed position with your knees up to your chest, please? So mm -hmm. that, yep, and nose to knees. And so this is a position if we want a child to be in the back that we need to allow for release of the dural tube and these structures all along the back of the body in order for the child to comfortably be able to sit or get into a flexed position. And so we can hang out here. Sometimes the child will begin to, to tilt their own chin back and forth and it's okay if they move, just move with them. Sometimes this can turn into, if they start to turn one way, it can sometimes turn into rolling if we bring an arm over and a shoulder and then we can position the child in side lying. And we can do this to both sides. We're never gonna force and we're never gonna use a lot of force because those things will cause the tissues to rebound and get tight. And since we're dealing with the neck, we definitely never wanna use um, heavy force. And so when the child begins moving or we feel like the tissues have relaxed, the treatment is done. This could take up to uh, 10 minutes. It could be as little as 30 seconds to one minute. So it's sometimes very dependent per child. And we're looking for them to be a little bit more comfortable moving their head.